everybody, it's Isabel. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing another layout for Scrap Lift Crafternoon. It is a YouTube hop that happens once a week. Every Sunday, some scrappy friends and I get together and we select a layout that we like and we scrap lift it. Um, this week's layout was created by Mel W. Scrapping. She does have a YouTube channel. I will have it linked below if you guys want to check out her channel. Um, she's got a lot of wonderful layouts on there, especially um, this one right here. I do love the layers that are going on on this layout, and I do like the stenciling. I have an idea of how I kind of want to not mimic it, but um, incorporate the stenciling on my own layout. And as far as the colors going on, um, I am going to stick to, this is the photo that I'm bringing in. I did print it out in a 4x6, although there is a white strip line right here, so it's going to be a little bit smaller, but not by much. Um, this munchkin in the middle is my daughter, and then these two are um, some kids from friends of ours. We go camping quite often. This is um, a trip that we took, and we ended up taking a ride out to Sunset Hill in Glamis to catch the sunset. Um, I got a picture of all the kids. I got lucky with some razors in the background and the sun going down. It created these tones, these blues, yellows, oranges, and then I've got the sand going on, and then they've got like dark colors on their clothes. So I'm kind of going to work around those. So I've got the oranges, the blues, the blacks, um, even like the sand color. Now all of these are from different collections. If there is anything in particular that you guys want to know where it came from, just let me know. Um, and I will let you know exactly what either a collection pad or brand it is. Um... But I am going to start by selecting which papers I'm actually going to use. Because I did pull a little bit more than I think I'm going to use. I was kind of just pairing them off. Now I do think I'm going to use this sand one as my background. And then instead of doing the hearts, I am thinking of doing hexagons. Um... For mine, I'll just do different size hexagons. I think that should look good. And then for my title, um, not a hundred percent sure yet. We'll 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 get to that when we when we get to it. Um, she has it's a it's a pattern paper cut almost like a piece of twine or string in a bow. I am going to actually get my string and create multiple lines I think I think but um let me start on my base let, let me start on the base let me figure out which papers I'm going to be using and I will be back okay so I decided to go ahead and use the sandpaper as I mentioned as my base and this recollections watercolor page I'm going to hand tear two strips they're basically about an one inch by 12 inch just for the top and bottom to start the layers. Now, once I get the orange ones done, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the black cardstock and do the same thing. Only the black one, I want the white core showing. So I'm going to tear that one up and that'll give me the white core. Once I get this down, I'm going to add here the orange strips to the black to make it look like there's another um, layer like completely behind it. And then I'm going to bring in my stencil, which I purchased from PeaceCraftLove.com. I bring in two colors uh, just because on Mel's layout, it looks like she did it with multiple colors. I'm going to use the Sundance ink from Close to My Heart, and I'm also going to use the Pewter Gray in Close to My Heart. And I'm going to do the Sundance first with a blend, a blending brush and then um, lightly go over it with the pewter gray blending brush. And then again with the Sundance just so that I can um, bring in some of that color and get um, almost like a, an ombre blend. Um, 
And I think it looks good. I really like it. Um, to me, it does look like tire tread marks. So I'm I'm excited about that. I do do a pattern. Um, I start off going from the top to the bottom of the page. And then the next uh, layer, it's kind of just... Um, it doesn't completely reach the top and the bottom. And I did that purposely just to give it sort of a pattern. Now, um, had I thought about how I was going to be designing this, um, even going off of Mel's layout, I wasn't thinking, you guys. I had so many issues when it came to this layout. Um, I think what it was is I was trying to rush through it, and I was just, I was gluing things before I tucked things, and it was, it was a hassle. Um, you'll, you guys will see as, as the video progresses, but, um, I really wish I would have did top and bottom tread marks on the ends. I mean, in the center and then on the ends do it, um, not all the way, but it is what it is. I still like the way that it came out. I'm going to get the photo bordered with the white cardstock trim. And then I have this blue, it's like almost like an aqua like a deep aqua um, cardstock that has writing on it. And the writing is just like adventure, um, sunshine. It just has like little phrases on it. Um, so I do border that with the photo, but I want to bring that color in more. So I'm going to use it as the long layer that sits behind the photo. The only thing is, is because I made that tread mark a little short, I have to make this back piece a little bit shorter. I had already adhered the photo down and I didn't just adhere it with the double-sided adhesive tape. I did that and glue. So that was not going anywhere. I did cut like probably about, I want to say about an inch and a half um, to like four and a half inch piece for top and bottom to make it look like it's going all the way down and get those tucked behind. But since that orange piece that I pulled from my scraps wasn't wide enough to kind of contrast between that long strip going down and the border of the picture, I had to do another layer. So I'm going to bring in just um, some white scrap pieces and border um, ink the edges with some Sundance ink just to offset the border. And I think it worked. But once I get all that done and adhered, you guys, I realized that Mel has some vellum behind that long strip. And I really wanted to use it. So I pulled in my scrap vellum. It's got like polka dots on it. And there was no pulling up that page that I had already glued down that piece um, for the top and bottom. So what I did was I recut another two pieces, got them adhered to the vellum, and then cropped them so that I could get them adhered to the piece that's already sitting on the layout. I mean, it was a hot mess, you guys. I Make sure that you cut all your layers before you adhere. I don't know what I was thinking. I was adhering everything. I was adhering the top layers before I even got the back layers. Ugh, ridiculous. But, I mean, I made it work. I made it work. There's always a way to fix it. Um, so I get those two pieces on and I'm going to bring in some twine to create that string, uh, that tie that goes around the bottom of Mel's photo. And I am going to create a little bow only instead of just doing the one strip, I'm going to have, <laughs> I, what I should have done is wrapped it around, each, uh, the piece before I adhered it. But since it was already adhered, I'm going to work with what I can and get this adhered to make it look like it's actually wrapping around in three ties. Now, uh, once I sort of like Frankenstein this twine onto this layout, I am going to bring in my nesting hexagon dies and I'm going to cut different sizes out in the same papers that I used on the layout. I'm going to do the um, oranges, the black, the teal color, and um, 
I'm going to get them placed in the four corners. Now, I thought that I would also put them um, within the layers like Mel has on her layout. But I wanted, like, as I was going through my embellishments, I wanted to put some word phrases on here to just highlight, you know, like, um, adventure. Uh, I found my title. My title is going to be Life is an Adventure. And it's just the sticker that I'm going to get adhered to the teal, uh, the top of the photo. Uh, but I did find another phrase. Uh, it's like a pocket card. And I wanted to use it, but I didn't want the florals. So I'm going to cut the florals off, create a little design, put the teal paper behind it. I am going to border the white portion of it with a with the Sundance um, just to help it pop a little bit. But it says, uh, life was meant for good friends and great adventure. That is perfect for this photo because those little ones are growing up together. They're camping together and they love their little adventures. So got that on the layout. And then also on the other side, I am going to bring in some Thicker's chipboard pieces. One says, Life is short, live it. So it's going to read, life is short, live it. Get out and explore. That's how it's going to read on the layout. And th then I'm going to add the sequence in several corners. Oh, I do have another chipboard piece that I do add on uh, next to the twine. And that one is going to read, um, at the end of the day, your hair should be, I mean, your feet should be dirty, your hair messy, and your eyes sparkling and I just really loved it so I'm gonna put some black sequins some gold sequins on here and that is gonna be the layout I want to remind you guys to check out the playlist with all my other crafty friends who are playing along scrap lifting this layout and then also check out Mel's YouTube channel she's got a lot of great videos a lot of late uh, layouts with fabulous ideas um, go over to her channel, give her some love, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So things have gotten a little bit hectic in my life right now, you guys. I did get a new job. Very excited about it. But um, I did fall out of the 30 days of sketches. I am going to probably still put in a couple more, but I'm not going to do all 30 just because I am trying to figure out how to balance my new work life my family, home life, and my crafting life all together. And if I just go silent for a little while, uh, please know that I will be back, you guys. I will be back. Um, but I will be here every Sunday. I am not going to let go of Scrap Lift Craft Afternoon. I really enjoy doing this. I just think that um, realistically, there's no way I'm going to be able to do 30 days. So uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed my video, my process, and I look forward to seeing you guys real soon with another layout. Bye!